Welcome to Mr. V Teaching Math. In this session, we're going to be looking at how to solve some integer problems. We're going to use the first of three methods that I teach in my classroom. What we're going to do is we're going to use a number line, like this, and we're going to use this little gentleman. And we're going to do what's called the human number line. We're going to use this little gentleman who's going to walk forward and backward and face different directions on this number line in order to solve the question. First thing we need to know is what to do with this kind of question. This is going to tell you where you start. This is going to tell you which direction your little guy faces in. And this is going to tell you how he walks. So, I'm going to start at positive 4. So we're just going to lie this gentleman down right above the positive 4. Now, facing. Which way does he face? Well, here are the rules we're going to work with. For the facing, if it's addition, you face in the direction of the positive numbers. If it's subtraction, you face in the direction of the negative numbers. In this case, it's subtraction. So, we'll have him face in the direction of the negative numbers. Oh, he won't stay, but I will hold him there in a few moments. But he's going to face that way. He's going to look at the negative numbers. Now, his walking. Here are the rules for his walking. If they're positive numbers, you walk forward. If they're negative numbers, you walk backward. So. Starting at positive 4, facing the negative numbers, he's going to take two steps backwards. Here he goes. One, two. There, I have the answer. Positive 6. Let's demonstrate with a few other similar types of questions. Let's start at negative 3. We'll add negative 2. Again, remember where I start, which way I face, which way I walk. So our little guy is going to start at negative 3. He's going to face the positive numbers. And then he's going to take, he's facing the positive numbers, he takes two steps backwards. One, two. The answer to this question is negative 5. Another example. This one should be fairly obvious to most of you, given that it's 2 plus 1. Just to demonstrate how it works. Where I start. Which way he faces. He's going to face that way. And he's facing positive numbers. He takes one step forward. Look! The answer is positive 3, which is, of course, 2 plus 1. That is how you can use a number line and one little human being to solve questions that are dealing with positive and negative numbers.